In an effort to lower engine emissions and comply with governmental regulation standards, your K-Series four-wheel drive loader model may be equipped with an interim Tier 4 or final Tier 4 engine. Most of the advancements are designed not to be noticed. However, operators should have a general understanding how the system works and the various machine monitor displays associated with it. Loaders with interim Tier 4 or final Tier 4 engines utilize an integrated exhaust filter that captures particulate matter, PM, also known as soot or smoke. This two-part exhaust filter contains a diesel oxidation catalyst, DOC, and a diesel particulate filter, DPF. The DOC reacts with exhaust gases to reduce carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and some particulate matter. The downstream DPF forces exhaust gases to flow through porous channel walls, trapping and holding the remaining PM soot. When soot builds up within the DPF to the point that it restricts the exhaust flow, it is necessary to remove the soot. Trap particles are oxidized with increased exhaust heat through a cleaning process called regeneration. The level of filter soot buildup is shown on a bar graph in the upper left corner of the monitor. Depending upon soot level, there are four types of filter regeneration cleaning that may occur. Passive, auto, parked, and service. Passive filter cleaning takes place during normal machine operation. It does not require any operator interaction and has no impact on machine operation. In applications where the unit runs under heavy loads, the exhaust heat is high enough to naturally clean soot buildup. However, operating with lower workloads and lower exhaust temperatures, the DPF soot level will begin to build. When the soot level reaches a moderate level, the engine control unit will begin to increase the temperature of the exhaust. An exhaust filter restriction pop-up will inform the operator to increase the engine RPM above 1200 RPM or start a part filter cleaning. When the operator raises the engine speed above 1200 RPM, the low idle setting will now be set at 1200 until automatic filter cleaning is complete. Elevated idle for automatic filter cleaning will have limited effect on machine operation. The exhaust filter cleaning indicator will light up signifying that automatic filter cleaning is in process. During elevated idle, a pop-up will indicate automatic filter cleaning is active and low idle has been elevated to 1200 RPM. This pop-up will display for three seconds or until the monitor select button is pressed. It will redisplay every 15 minutes until auto filter cleaning is complete. Automatic filter cleaning lasts approximately 25 minutes. When cleaning is complete, elevated idle will no longer be active. Note, with automatic filter cleaning enabled, automatic cleaning will occur regardless of soot level. This ensures that automatic filter cleaning is occurring on a regular basis. Automatic filter cleaning can be disabled, but is not recommended under most operating conditions. When disabled, the green Auto Cleaning Disabled indicator is displayed. Disabling may be preferred in applications where high exhaust temperatures are not desired, such as working inside an enclosure. Refer to the operator's manual for details for disabling automatic cleaning. Passive regeneration will continue until soot level becomes high. The operator needs to return the system to auto as soon as conditions permit to avoid particulate or soot buildup in the exhaust filter. If automatic cleaning is disabled and the soot level becomes high, a monitor pop-up will appear indicating that the exhaust filter is restricted. One push of the select button will enable auto filter cleaning. If automatic filter cleaning is frequently disabled or often ignored, the soot level in the DPF will increase above a high level to very high. 
the exhaust filter restriction level indicator will turn yellow and a pop-up along with the caution indicator will be displayed. At this point, a diagnostic trouble code will be generated, engine power will be derated 50%, and machine performance will be reduced. The machine should be moved to a desired area and a part filter cleaning should be initiated. Once part cleaning is selected, the monitor will guide the operator through the process. The screen will ask if a shutdown is necessary after the cleaning. This option allows the operator to part the machine in a desired spot, run the part filter cleaning, leave the machine, and do another task while the part filter cleaning runs for approximately 45 minutes. The machine will then automatically shut down. If the operator plans to continue to operate the machine after the part filter cleaning, no may be selected and the machine will continue to idle once the part filter cleaning is complete. Part filter cleaning requires three main criteria. Park brake applied, FNR in neutral, and engine speed at idle. If any of these criteria are not met, the process will not begin. Once all three are met, pressing select will allow part filter cleaning to begin. Once ready, the process will begin and the screen will indicate progress by showing percentage of completion. Part filter cleaning will take approximately 45 minutes and a complete screen will be shown on the monitor. During part filter cleaning, if the park brake is released, engine RPM is increased, the FNR is moved into gear, or any system fault occurs, the cleaning will be aborted. If this occurs, the operator should correct the indicated issue. The park filter cleaning process should start over. If the process will not start again, a service technician should be contacted for assistance. If the soot level reaches the service level, the exhaust filter restriction level indicator will become red and the stop indicator will be displayed. The engine should be stopped as soon as possible. A service filter cleaning will need to be performed. The service filter cleaning is similar to the part filter cleaning process. However, it will last approximately three and a half hours and may only be activated by a qualified service technician. Remember that the DPF should rarely reach very high or service soot levels. By keeping the machine in the automatic filter cleaning enabled mode and by not ignoring recommended park filter cleanings, most of the filter cleaning processes on the engine happen behind the scenes with no or minimal impact on the operator or machine performance. With an understanding of a few additional symbols and procedures, you should operate your equipment the same way as earlier engine models. Unloaders equipped with final Tier 4 emission engines, an additional process is added to reduce nitrous oxide emissions, referred to as NOx. Diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, is injected into the exhaust after the DOC DPF filter that was just explained. A chemical reaction occurs that changes the NOx into ammonia. The ammonia is removed by passing it through a filter. On units with final Tier 4 engines, the diesel exhaust fluid or DEF tank fill is also located here. Note the blue cap. Be sure to use only approved DEF as outlined in the operator's manual. The engine power will derate if the quality of the fluid is substandard or if the level is very low. Refer to the operator's manual for details. A good practice is to fill the DEF tank at the same time as the diesel fuel tank. Under no circumstances should the diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, be put into the fuel tank with the green cap. It is corrosive to steel and will ruin the fuel injection system if the engine is run. The DEF tank level gauge is located in the monitor. 
In addition to the operator's manual, each machine comes with an interim Tier 4 or final Tier 4 quick reference guide. Printable files of these guides are located in the digital folders on this disk. It can be accessed with a computer.